all right wonderful people welcome back to this wonderful channel where we'll bring you back to back update and information as the hot in case it's your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel uh, kindly go ahead and subscribe to our channel like comment share and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news drop you go be the first we'll collect them uh, before I go to the information that I want to bring to you, I want to say something. Before, everybody was running away from everything that concerns the indigenous people of Biafra. Uh, once they hear is Biafra, they will run away. People like who was wicked and uh, uh, that founded Masop, they ran away. Many people ran away and uh, only Masina they can stood and um, he started fighting for this cause and up until up until he was arrested by the DSS uh, when uh, they uh, invited him to Kenya for an exposition uh, without knowing that they have already planned for him to extraordinary rendition him there uh, from Kenya to Nigeria and then um, after that um, he went to court and the court, we are saying, you know, they placed all manner of counts of charges upon him, uh, terrorism, treasonable felony, and the rest of them, which he was he's answering. After that, the appellate court discharged and acquitted him. The then attorney general of the federation, Malami, took the took up the case without the man being released. He, the case was took up. Of course, he was supposed to be released before the court start any other judgment. At least he will have a freedom for that time. But the, because of the injustice in the judiciary system of NIG, the, the Malami uh, uh, Attorney General of the Federation took the court to, to the Supreme Court, filed for a stay of execution in, in, in the appellate court. Then after that now, uh, his disciple, which is uh, Simon Eba, who later uh, started following him, and um, created Biafra Republic government in exile, of which he has reaching to he has been reaching to other government parastatals all over the world, you know, creating offices all over the world, meeting men here and there all over the world, writing petition to uh, United Nations, uh, European Union, uh, ECOWAS, and the rest of them. Now you can see that um, other people have started, you know, uh, 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 you know, gallivanting, uh, making noise, you know, as if. So that they will be noticed you know i'm going what i'm going to read here now is what this one is coming from the uh, masop 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 that's why i started with this talk, this talk so that you will understand where i'm going now uh now the canon has opened the floor simon eba is bold speaking without giving up and that's why everybody is coming in this time you know to start commenting about the things that concerns biafra and the rest of them because they have seen as if somehow uh, the actualization is very near now the um, masop, masop said no level of military bombardment of villages will stop actualization of biafra nation separatist group masop tells tenubu's government it accused the military of using the guise of fighting unknown government to kill Igbo youths the movement for the actualization of the sovereign, sovereign state of masop has condemned the use of fighter jets to bombard some parts of Igbo land describing the renewed killing of Igbo youth and tagging them terrorists as an ethnic cleansing. The pro Biafra group warned the Nigerian military to stop the bombardment. It accused the military of using the guise of fighting on Nungon men to kill Igbo youth. Masob, under the leadership of Conrad Uchen Namado, in a statement signed by the National Director of Information, Conrad Edison Samuel, said that it views the hypocritical military move as another dimension of political ethnic cleansing of Ndibo by the Alaji Bola Mil Ahmed Tinubu led APC or Progressive Congress illegal administration. It noted that agitation for self-determination which the constitution of Nigeria and international instruments guaranteed cannot be tagged as a terrorism. Masob stated that even the alleged proscription of the indigenous people of Biafra by former President Muhammad Buhari's regime was still being challenged in court of appeal. It noted that because of the compromised Nigerian judiciary, the case has been stalled since 2017. Masop 
however, noted that Igbo people were not surprised that Tinubu had started following in the footstep of his predecessor, Buari, by making sure that Ndi Igbo and Igbo land would become irrelevant in this geopolitical entity called Nigeria. It said, this is clear evidence and a true manifestation of pathological hatred and jealousy against Igbo nations by the Arewa and Odudua people. Masob observed that the biased federal government of Nigeria has entered into negotiation with the northern Nigerian-based Islamic terrorist bandit groups. These are well-known and globally recognized terrorist groups that have raped, kidnapped, and committed open and brazen genocide against Christian communities and villages in the north region of Nigeria. They have destroyed many homes and displaced thousands of inhabitants of the native land in their quest for Islamic religious occupation. Still, the Nigerian government is negotiating with them instead of getting them arrested. Though Mazob does not support any form of criminality or violent agitation, we also do not support the use of military jet fighters to bombard and destroy Igbo land. It added, bombing the so-called hideout of unknown gunmen will never yield any positive result. You can never get peace by bombing or killing the people. Meanwhile, Mazob also reiterated its demand for the release of Mr. Nande Kano, leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, insisting that his release will douse tension in Igbo land. Masob wished to remind the Nigerian state that a self-determination ideology hatched can never be abandoned irrespective of the pressure from the oppressor. No amount of military bombardment of villages and communities in Igbo land can stop Biafra actualization and restoration because, because God, history, and humanity are on the side of Ndibo, he said. Eh, my people, when I don't see as they go, I can ask any baron. Uh, this is how um, the matter they go uh, like I was telling you uh, they are saying that um, you no know, amount of bombardment in Igbo land will be able to stop the actualization of the indigenous uh, people of Biafra I think that that is true um, because um, ideology is one thing you cannot kill I think um, that is one thing um, Africans has not been able to understand. Uh, I think um, that is why uh, white people are quite uh, more better than Africans because um, they are learned and they, they have read wide. They set the constitution and follow this constitution. The written documents are being followed very well by the white. The reason why uh, the blacks, former slaves uh, in America, are able to get their freedom to become uh, legal citizens in America is because of a written document. Of course, you know that the, during the time of Abraham Lincoln, he cancelled uh, slave trade. And that was how slave trade uh, came to an end in America. And even after the slave trade was cancelled, many of the blacks did not know that that uh, communique has been passed. And um, they were still under their tax masters because they have not seen that communique and at a time when some of them found that article that secular and then um, notice what has been done and that was when they started fighting for their freedom and even when they find out they were mandated that some areas in the united states in america uh, were not meant for the blacks the blacks were confined in some places like new georgia uh, uh, minnesota and the rest of them uh, there will be places like Alabama and the rest of them were not meant for blacks until at a particular time uh, people like Martin Luther King Jr. started rising up uh, and people started fighting. It happened in the India also between the British and the Indians uh, when people like uh, Mahat Gandhi uh, rose up and started fighting. The same thing took place in South Africa where the whites dominated the South Africans. Uh, it was hard for the black south africans to uh, occupy position uh, because uh, the when the white came into south africa for for their colonization uh, they started like in intermarriage you know started uh, you know taking uh, bl uh, south african girls you know impregnating them giving birth to white children and the rest of them and um there were many whites 
in South Africa who were South African citizens and these people started oppressing South Africans where South Africans you know became very afraid of the whites in South Africa they answered them sir and the rest of them until uh, people like um, Nelson Mandela rose up and started fighting for freedom you know started making sure uh, that uh, the freedom of his people is actualized and that is how uh, South Africa uh, became a better place that was where uh, people like Honorable Malema of this time you know is taking his energy from and I believe that with time um, God Almighty will give freedom to whom freedom is due I'll be winding down the curtain here and if this is your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel kindly go ahead and subscribe like comment share and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news drop you will be the first we'll collect them thank you for listening god bless you